Good morning, folks. Billy re-ramped the olivine testing in the lab. A catastrophe is unfolding in Afghanistan, and we revisit action at a distance, the spooky entanglement. But we begin, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com, and when looking at the sun in 193 angstroms, we see the central disk coronal hole's connection back up and left behind the limb to the remainder of the northern coronal hole. Turns out a blank, spotless sun may not be in our immediate future, as even with these groups departing today, we appear to have incoming on the other side. Equatorial group looks compact but strong. If we see black as it turns, that's confirmed. Oh yeah, this one is to be eyed this week as it tests the earth facing quiet. Solar wind with a brief re-intensification overnight. The harsher stream set instability back into earth's magnetic field, but it's likely short-lived, likely the departure of an interaction region. Next intensified stream is still days away coming from the central coronal hole. But what about the earthquakes? Well, they've upped the Martinique quake magnitude to 5.8 that we saw yesterday. This morning, the West Chile rise took a rumble that rang as high as 6.4. USGS has it at only 5.2, but with blot echoes in Argentina. We'll have eyes on it for more. But coming now to our top stories. Excellent read on entanglement and closing the loopholes for alternative explanations. Forget homegrown experiments, they use light from stars and plan to use galactic signatures next. Folks, you can pretty much just pencil this one in. They may fiddle with the mechanisms and how they say it works, but at the end of the day, something over here can affect something seemingly unconnected over there instantaneously outside of time. Up next, we're in Afghanistan where the snowfall marches on beyond just the mountainous regions. I know this looks like a sledding party, but they're actually trying to look for survivors after multiple vehicles got slammed by an avalanche. Folks, the death toll is over 40 now, and livestock in parts of the region is pretty much a total loss, unthinkable for their way of life. Up next, we're at Yelverton's lab. New video posted to that premium section, and we're once again showing current moving olivine as it charges up. And as we do rapid discharge with the prod, we demonstrate a 100% unbreakable pattern. While water will attract to the current and be pushed along with it, olivine moves 180 degrees to the direction of the discharge. We've got that in a number of instances where as soon as Billy hits the juice, the crystals start dancing. You can meet Billy, discuss all his experiments, ask anything you want at Observing the Frontier 2017. We also have top professors, professional scientists from universities and top organizations. We've got a sapphire update and the earthquake forecasting model presentation. Time, rooms at the venue, and the tickets themselves are dwindling by the day. Website members, it was a very fun fly on the wall podcast yesterday. Weren't paying attention and ran about an hour and five minutes. We hit climate change, the dipole repeller, deep water, the incoming dwarf planet we saw earlier this week in the news, and the canaries starting to sing in the coal mine. Right now, we've got pressure and radar forecasts, a null school global run, and shots of our star to close. It's 4.35 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.